These attacks were especially devastating because of the timing. A little after 8 o'clock this morning, a suicide bomber on a motorbike entered the central part of the uh, Afghanistan capital, not far from the offices of the intelligence services, NATO headquarters, and uh, foreign embassies. First responders and journalists raced to the scene. Minutes later, a second suicide bomber on foot and pretending to be with the media then detonated his explosive device. According to a police spokesman, journalists were intentionally targeted. Among the nine dead journalists was Shah Marai, the chief photographer in Kabul for the news agency AFP. In addition to the 25 people killed, there were as many as uh, 45 wounded in these twin attacks. An ISIS affiliate has claimed responsibility for the carnage, saying that the first attack was designed to draw people to the site for the second explosion. The U.S. Embassy in Kabul has condemned what is taking place, calling the incident, quote, savage bombings. Sandra? David Lee, this was not the only attack today in Afghanistan. Another claimed the lives of children. What more do we know about that? That's right. In the city of Kandahar, there was also another uh, suicide bomber launching an attack, this one targeting a, a NATO convoy. The blast killed 11 children from a nearby religious school. Sixteen people were also wounded, including eight NATO soldiers from Romania. None of the injured are American. So far, no group has taken responsibility, but the Taliban are suspected of carrying it out. In recent weeks, there has been a spike in the number of attacks in uh, Afghanistan. The Taliban have rejected an offer to join the government there and to take part in the upcoming elections and uh, are now beginning their spring offensive.